the garbage showed up. It's called, Hawaiians call it space stuff. Really, space stuff showed up on the earth. But I'm going to just make, make up the story. So my friend Eve says to Adam, hmm, you know, uh, this, this guy, this person here is saying don't eat that because if we ate it, we would be just like that person. So, so friend Eve here is doing a number on Adam, <laughs> saying, hello, eat that. If you eat that, you can be like God. And Eve did it for millions and millions of years. Just got on his case. Eat it. Eat it. No. 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 Eat it. Eat it. Now he's getting old. No. 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 Keeps, keep, keeps on his case. But what, what, you don't, what the stories don't tell you is that they're both responsible. In other words, Eve is saying to him, eat it. But you see, the only reason why is it's already in him to eat it. No. So now he eats it. Boom, boom. I mean, the hell breaks loose. I mean, snow and rockets and oh, God knows, everything goes up in the hell. So now we're stuck. So this is the Los Angeles version of God coming into the situation. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is God swishing his, his, his whatever pajamas, you know. Sad. And then the Los Angeles version is, hmm, there's been a change in the energy. <laughs> and here's what Adam said. Adam said, she made me do it. <laughs> yeah. So, so women have been pissed off at us. <laughs> You know how they get pissed off, right? They withhold. Yeah. So the idea is, if Adam had been 100% responsible, none of us would be here today. I want to let you know that. None of us would have. Now, Adam could have said to the divinity, what? What could Adam have said to the divinity? I love you. So as soon as he said that, the energy would go down, go up, Ding, 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 ding. Then now you have the, you have the mama coming down, comes down immediately, comes down to Eve, comes down, comes down, comes down, comes down, comes down, comes down, and divinity transforms, erases, 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 cuts the ties, what the Hawaiians call aka. Just get the cut, oki the aka. Now they're, now they're free. But you see, our parents go. And our parents, being Adam and Eve, didn't get it, so you and I have to work on it. That's our story. That you and I are left with, she made me do it. Really. So now we're stuck, but you're going to help unstuck us. And all you have to do is say, I love you, thank you, drink your soul of water, do any of this stuff, and not only will you get set free, so something y'all didn't do in this room. Now, how many people are in this room? Just estimate. No, there are, there are billions of people in the room. Billions. Billions. Family, relatives, and ancestors. So when you go, eh, they go, eh, too. Really. So I want you to know that when you say, I love you, you free up everybody and everything. If you, if you become blameful, she made me do it, we're all stuck. So the idea is, this is why therapists get burned, is because behind Eve is all the family, relatives, and ancestors back to the beginning of creation. So in this room, there are billions of life forms. <coughs> Let me give you a story that somebody asked more than a question. This was at University of Hawaii. So let's say my friend asked Morna this question. Morna, blah, 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 blah. And her response is like this. Did you know that you were once a seaweed? <laughs> I, 
I mean, so, listen, you got it easy with me. So I was in I was in Arizona with her with Morna, dear Morna. Um, we were doing a class at Saint Elizabeth uh, 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 Catholic Hospital. So I was I was up, and she was in the back. And Morna always meditates. There isn't a moment she doesn't meditate, but she's got her eyes closed and head down. So she's sitting there, and I'm talking, and and you can see the room go. I mean, all of a sudden, then they go to that way. Well, that's the way she meditates. I mean, she leans forward, she leans backward. I mean, it's going. And when I'm talking, I get used to it. But you watch, everybody just kind of bending and watching, you know? <laughs> like that. So, somebody like him, my friend Dick, asked a question. He asked a question of me, and I said, I don't know. Let's ask Morna. I turned around, I said to Morna, Morna looks like this. I said, Morna, I don't know how to answer that, answer that question. Up comes her head instantly, and she said, "It's a stupid question." <laughs> and back she goes. She leaves me standing. I'm there, you know, like that. So you got it easy. Yeah. So the story is very simple. Story is very simple. Only divinity can transmute. No, there's no being walking the earth. Only this part of you can transmute. If you say you're a healer, the whole universe laughs. Yeah, only that in you. It's like my friend Okua is talking. If he's willing to clean, that in him will inspire him. Because that in him created him. And if you don't, you don't get that, you'll be forever stuck. So this part of you, the, this... Transmute, inspires, create. But this part of you, now I'm coming to the mother aspect of mine. This part of you has the choice. As Shakespeare said, I don't know what, in what play, Shakespeare said, the question is to be or not to be free. And you're only here to make that choice moment by moment, to be free. And most of us aren't, are not aware that there are stuff going on in here, for which we are not aware of. This is the relationship is 15 conscious, 15 million, you're not aware of. And you talk like you do. So if you're willing to allow the divinity to do its work, and it can't do its work unless you're willing to petition, it won't do it, because it's an invasion. So the idea is, now the mother is so important we can forget this part of you. I'm coming down to the mother and child now. Coming down to the mother and child. So for eons, the mother has been holding on. The mother has been engaged. That's the way we solve problems. We engage the data. The Ho'oponopono is about disengagement. To disengage. Disengage from what? The, the data in the subconscious. So now the mother has to be willing to, when the mother does the cleaning like, I love you, the mother has to take the time and say to the child, listen, we're suffering. Or you're, you're self-talking. We're suffering. I love you is a way to let go of the suffering. So I'm asking you, you're talking mentally now, I'm asking you and giving you permission, let go. Because you can say I love you and it won't work because you've been holding on for eons and you have to be willing to talk to this child. And this child runs your body, it runs your body. If this is hell, your body is a consequence. If your body is always effect, your body will be in hell. So the idea is that the relationship between the mother and child is the absolutely the most important relationship in creation. So as you do, I love you, and any of these processes, you need to talk to the child and say, here's what this is all about, because this part of you has no discretion. The subconscious has no discretion. It doesn't know right from wrong. When something, when a data gets hit, it'll play it. But now you have to begin the process of what I'm going to call re-education. You have to re-educate the child. 
But every time you do the cleaning, you have to talk to it. Here's how it works. Here's how it works. Uh, we've learned a process called Hawa Hawaii. And here's how the process, and you talk, and you talk. And at some point, if you're willing to do it consistently, you're a disciple of yourself, the child will do it automatically while you're sleeping. But it will not do it if you're inconsistent. So I'm going to pause to see if you have any questions that I can even Now, the reason I'm telling you this is that only cleaning can trump intellectualism, which is thinking. Once you leave this room, if you go into thinking, you'll get, you're going to sink. Thinking is this data plane. So you can ask questions in this room, but if you get in the habit of asking, asking, it will take you nowhere. So while in this room, I suspect if you have any unclarity on my part, I'm willing. When you say it's in me, when you uh, say what? When when you say that the the uh, 